Hello and welcome to another short video from me, Mike Thomas, the Excel Trainer. This video is all about grouping dates in a pivot table in Excel 2016 for Windows, the brand new version of Excel. Now here's my data and you can see that it's sales figures from January through to the end of May this year. And in the pivot sheet, I've got the beginnings of the pivot table. I've already gone through insert pivot table. What I want to show is I want to show the revenue per month. So I will drag in order date into the rows section of the pivot table. And in the old version of Excel, it would show me every single individual date from the order date field. Now it detects that I've got dates and it groups them for me on month because that is the default. I will bring in revenue into the values and there is my pivot table. If I want to show the individual dates, I can just expand and contract like that. And if I don't want to show those plus signs, if I don't want the option to show the individual dates, then I will just remove the order date from the row section just by dragging it away. And there we have it, the new way to group by dates in pivot table in Excel for Windows 2016.